Okay, so, in uh, the 1600s time period, there was a, this group called the Pilgrims that uh, were originally Calvinist separatists that were evading the rule of Queen Elizabeth I and Queen John or James I. Doesn't matter, they're fucking England. And uh, they decide to... Wait, I should start over. So, I mean, is this story really about the Mayflower or about the people in the Mayflower? Because this makes a difference. Because there's two stories. The original Mayflower story starts with, in 1607, the original Mayflower, fl uh, fl not flies, but it sails to Norway to make its maiden voyage. And then, uh, and then it goes to, uh, Bordeaux, France. From there it goes to England where it picks up the fucking fascist fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> fucking religious people. Anyway, the Calvinists, I should say. Anyway, so, uh, so I guess that gives you both stories just right there. And, uh, so they sail, they sail for, like, months and months or whatever. Lots of people die. And then they sail to, uh, what is known as Plymouth Rock, Massachusetts. Which is actually, um, not the original rock they settled on. They settled on this rock that, um, was probably demolished by erosion. <laughs> And now they have this, like, steel cage around some random rock calling it Plymouth Rock. Anyway, that's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sorry. And and they also give wax tours if you're interested. <laughs> that's really all this retarded. But anyway, so the pilgrims land in about, uh, I would, I think it's probably, um, March that they land. Because April was when they really started to uh, realize that the Native American presence was there, and they're trying to find what they can to salvage uh, their food supplies and, and to keep everybody healthy and like living, because there was 100 and, 100 and, uh, 5 to 9, I'm going to say 5 to 9 because I don't remember the exact figure, uh, people living, living in the Mayflower, not living in living on, but not on, in the colony. Anyway, there were some pregnant bitches too, so who knows. Uh, so... Go. Alright, so... It was about, uh, either 104 to 108 people, doesn't matter, around that range there were some pregnant bitches or whatever. And, uh, so... So either way, the Iroquois, which were the the tribe at the time that was showing up to be like, Hey, hey buddy, you landed on shore. What's going on? We're we're cool people. Do you do you wanna like smoke this or you, or do you want some corn or or you know, whatever. So so the people are just like, Oh no. You're you have different colored skin than us, you're weird. We're gonna shun you for a while until we until we're dying of fucking disease in the winter, so whatever. And then like so, a few for a few months, they don't take any help from the Iroquois, or whatever, and uh, and then it comes to winter time where they they hadn't planted shit, and the Iroquois are like, hey hey, we're coming back again. Do you, do you want to eat some of our corn? Do you want to eat some of our food stores? And they're like, oh my god, thank you so god. Oh my god! And they're like, "What do you mean, God? Who's that?" And they're, side note, and they're like, <laughs> and they're like, "Oh my god, you like saved us from death and whatever." And they're like, "No, it's it's no problem. We, you know, you're you're a person just like we are a person, and we want to give you some. We want to give you some of our food and shit to stay alive." And they're like, "Oh, totally cool. Thanks, thank you so much, you guys, and whatever." And then so. So the fucking spring comes, and the Indians come around, they're like, hey, you want to know how we, like, sur helped you guys survive throughout the winter? And the Indians are like, yeah, 
Oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. The pilgrims are like, yeah, yeah, we want to know how you guys survived. And so the Indians come along, and they're like, plant some fucking fish in your corn, and plant some fucking rotted cow meat in your fucking peas and shit, and like, just put all this decaying material in your fucking crops, and we'll make you guys rich as fuck with food. And the, and the whites are like, <laughs> I don't know, that's PC. Whatever I'm white anyway. But it's like, but the, the white people are like, oh yeah, guys, you guys are so awesome. Oh my god, you guys are totally going to be invited to our party when we have one. And the Indians are like, okay, yeah, cool, we'll, we'll see you then, or whatever. And, <laughs> and then so, so then the first Thanksgiving comes around. And granted, uh, 1609 is actually when Jamestown, Virginia was founded, and all the small smallpox, and, and when you think about Native Americans, pretty much were, like, different tribes, but they were, like, a people are from north to south. So, word probably got back to them, that they're, they're like, there's these, these disease motherfuckers down the south. To the, I mean, between Indians or whatever. And the Indians were like, this is pretty fucked up. And, uh, so the Indians are like, yeah, dude, well, I mean, this is not so cool because there's, we, like, shared our secrets with you and you, and you're not really giving back to us, and they're like, oh, wait, no, I'm sorry, we decided to, uh, to take all of your secrets of living on the land and to build you a casino instead, <laughs> because... We decided that you're not worth shit, and that we want you off our fucking land so we can make some houses and some fucking cornfields and, like, schoolhouses and whatever. And the Indians are just kind of, like, left with, like, they're kind of like, huh, what? And then, and then the British government comes in with their legal documentations, and the British government says, so like, oh, well, here's a bunch of legal paperwork that you guys have to sign, and the Indians are kind of like, oh, what do you mean? Legal paperwork? What? Because they're used to just, like, settling things with, like, fucking glory or, like, brute mentality or something like that. And so the English are just like, yeah, here's some legal paperwork you just have to sign. It's gonna be, like, totally cool when you guys get, like, whatever you want. And they, like, totally lied to the fucking Native Americans and the Native Americans were like, Oh yeah, I mean we don't we don't really know what we're getting into, but we'll sign it and, w and whatever. And then the, and then the British were pretty much like, oh wait, now you're fucked. And that's why the Native Americans started getting hostile because all of a sudden, legal documents came out of nowhere, and just started being like, oh wait, we're just gonna scalp you. We're just gonna scalp you now because we don't know what the fuck this means. Nobody explained shit to them. And then all of a, and then through pop culture, if you will, from the 1600s. They started scalping people, they started scalping motherfuckers because they didn't understand what was going on. And then that's the beauty of Thanksgiving. So we now, so now we eat turkeys that we stole from the Native Americans. And we eat corn that, we, that helped us grow. And they, we eat uh, squash, of which, I, mean, I don't know where squash really derives from, but it's pretty delicious. Um, potatoes, I'm pretty sure, was never a around until the Irish were fucked. Um, and then I'm gonna guess that, like, people have been brewing beers and alcohols forever. That's that's not actually... The, one of the number one things that the Americans treated with England's, or with New Americans, was alcohol. And so alcohol helped keep the Native Americans at bay, the ones that were, like, docile and that were trying to be nice guys. They're like, oh, you're too, you're too nice? Let's take more advantage of that. Let's get these guys wasted and then fucking burn their tents and steal their bitches and shit. I don't know if that's true, but I mean... They still try to get them wasted, probably. That's just my, uh... diagnostic... something... I think we can make this better on a second try. I don't know <laughs> what the fuck Jesse thought.